Hi, welcome to Moving on the Mat with Dana. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of chest to heart chakra openers and also open the hips a little bit too. And we'll be doing that through some twists and some lunges. So here we're gonna get started. Um, just start with legs wide today and we're just gonna roll up the shoulders just really gently. Just deep breath in and out. Just take a minute to loosen the shoulders up. So one more time this way and then we're gonna circle back the other way. So round and roll out, deep breath in and out. Loosen it all up. Great. Okay, and then we're going to breathe in, lengthen out, fold forward, reach out. And then breathe in, come up. And breathe out, reach back. And breathe in, back up, and around the back. Breathing in. Empty it out. And back up again. Okay, let's bring that across the chest and just bring it into eagle arms. So we're just going to hug it in first. Feel that bicep shoulder stretch. Then we're wrapping arms into eagle and just sinking here, palms together, sinking it down, feeling that upper back shoulder stretch. Okay, sweep the arms around the back one more time. And again, we're opening the shoulder blades, opening the heart chakra, lengthening it back. Then we'll do the other side. So arm comes across, hug it in, pull it in, and wrapping into eagle arms, sink into it, relax into it. Just relax here for a breath or two. Once again, arms come around the back, open the heart chakra, pull it back, so just doing a little stretch out here. And then just bring both hands into the heart chakra, into prayer pose for a breath or two. And then we're gonna bring the hands around the back, opening the heart chakra again, opening the shoulders, opening the chest, reverse prayer. So palms come together, hands as much as you can, traveling up the back. If this is too much for the wrist, then don't worry. You just can cup the hands if you like, but try and see how it goes. We're just connecting through the back of the spine. And then we're gonna do a wide leg forward bend. So keeping those palms pressed together and just sink into it, breathe into it, relax into it. Feel that stretch. And come back up and shake it out. Okay, great. Um, let's start here with warrior one. So I'm gonna bring left leg forward right leg right heel sinking back and again you're just really grounding through those feet sweeping those arms up long and just really sink into that front knee really ground through both feet lengthen spine relax shoulders breathe in breathe out and then open arms wide to warrior two so extending those arms nice and long we're going to take it to reverse warrior or exalted warrior front arm comes up gaze up reach up and back and then we're going to come down to warrior two and then resting the elbow on top of the knee into side angle pose reach overhead and we're going to repeat this a few times so back to warrior two reverse warrior come out side angle pose and again two more times nice and long reverse warrior warrior two side angle pose one more time breathing in out Breathe in and out. Good. Okay, this last part, we're just gonna reach up, gaze up, look up, you're opening through chest, back shoulders, resting into that front knee. So we're in side angle pose. We're gonna bring that extended arm just to drop back behind and just opening the chest and shoulder just a little extra. So just looking to the ceiling or sky, really open your heart to the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, this next part's optional. You can give it a try and just see how it goes, but don't force anything. We're gonna try balance that angle pose. So right arm's gonna drop back, continue to drop back and open. Left hand's gonna slide out underneath. And you're just gonna try to clasp those fingers and hands together in what we call bound side angle pose. So bound side angle pose, just connecting the hands, opening the shoulder and chest, deep breath in and out. Really that chest opening, shoulder, right shoulder opening. Okay, let's release those hands. Straighten that front leg, arm comes up, gaze up, and we're in full triangle here. So just reaching to the ceiling or sky, other hand grounding towards the earth. Let's bring the extended hand all the way down towards the front foot. And just, again, keep the feet parallel, maybe step that back foot in a bit, straightening front leg, triangle forward bend. Sinking forward, head towards that knee, lengthening those legs out, breathe into it. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna step back with that right leg and come into resting lunge. And I'm just going to adjust the camera just for a second so you can see more what's going on. Okay, so here we are in the resting lunge. Um, you're grounding through that front foot, hands are resting on the ground. 
and just feeling the hip stretch, hip opening, deep breathing. And just take a minute here to let the hips relax and open. So flexing through the front, extending through the back, grounding through the hands and feet, breathing in and out. <sighs> relax, okay, let's um, take that back leg back and just bring the toe up. We're doing a little bit of a hamstring stretch. So folding forward into that front knee, breathe into it, relax into it. Feel that stretch. Bring that foot down. Let's bring arms up overhead and coming into crescent moon lunge, really opening the hips and chest and lengthening the spine back and then back down to the ground. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into side angle and side angle, deep side angle and deep side angle twist. We did side angle upright. This is the lower one, the deeper one. So foot ground, front knee bent, uh, left hand beside left foot. We're gonna lift and extend through the right leg. So just the ball, the foot on the ground, hips are opening. We're gonna reach up, open the chest up, look up. And again, this is deep side angle pose. Deep breath in and out. Bring that right hand back down to center, exchanging right hand, left hand, and turning towards that front bent left knee for deep side angle twist. A deep breath in and out. Come back to center. We're gonna walk ourselves forward, wide leg, forward bend, folding forward, sinking into it, relaxing the head down, reaching through to the other side. Just hold for a breath into here. Walk those hands out and up, and we're gonna do a little twist. So, my left hand's gonna go towards my right big toe, and right arm's coming up, lengthening spine, opening chest, back shoulders, open that shoulder blade up, deep breath in and out. Come back to center, relax. Let's take right hand over to left big toe. So, right hand to left big toe, left arm reaching up, gaze up, look up, open the shoulder blade, deep breathing. back down and we're going to turn towards the other side let's go back into triangle forward bend so just shifting to triangle forward bend hands come to hips lifting back up and we're going to go back into our first warrior so sinking through the hips a little sinking through that back leg bending that front knee sweeping arms up overhead we're back into warrior one deep breath in and out we're going to open arms wide and just opening the chest back shoulder to warrior two. So arms are extending, bending into that front knee, lengthening it out. Reverse warrior, gaze up, reach up, look up. Come back down, side angle pose, reaching overhead, windmill those arms. Let's do it again. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice and wide. Side angle pose, two more sets. And reach long, open the side rib last time, breathing in, reaching up, breathe in, reach out overhead, look to the ceiling, okay, that same arm's going to extend up, so again, you're just opening chest back, shoulders sinking into that front knee, and again, we're just going to drop that arm to rest behind the lower back, trying to open that left shoulder, open the heart chakra to the sky, breathe in and out. Get a nice stretch to that chest. And we're gonna take that same hand resting on top of the knee and just again, trying for that bound side angle pose. Again, if it hurts too much, it's too awkward, don't push it. We're just opening the shoulder blades, opening the chest, reaching the hands behind. And we're gonna straighten that front leg and front arm coming into full triangle. Reach up, gaze up, look up. Extended hand's gonna come all the way down. And again, squaring up the feet, just turning the feet in, triangle forward bend. Take a minute just to fold into it, head towards the knee, deep breath in and out, sink into it. Relax. Step that back leg back. Let's come into resting lunge. So we're back into the resting lunge. So again, just take a minute to sink back, ground the palms, ground that front foot. You're feeling the hips stretching, extending through the back, flexing through the front. And just take another minute here just to relax and let that hip open a bit extra. So breathing in and out. Deep breathing. Let's bring one hand to either side of that front foot. And we're walking the toes up again. So same as we did before, just walking it up, folding forward, head towards the knee, deep breath in and out. Feel that stretch. Slide that foot in and arms come up, crescent moon lunge. Just reach up, open the hips up, lengthen the spine out. 
reach up and back and come back down to the mat. We're going into our deep side angle pose and then deep side angle twist. So front knee stays um, bent and grounded, foot grounded. Right hand beside right front foot. And we're gonna come up into the back left toe. Hips stay low and open that left arm up and just reaching up, grounding through palms, grounding through the front foot, open the chest back shoulder, open that heart chakra, breathe into it. Come back down with that left hand, replacing the right, turning towards the front foot. Knee, reach out, open wide, deep breath in and out. And we're in the twist. Okay, this time we're gonna come down and we're gonna step back into downward dog this time. So just take a minute to stretch out those legs. Grounding palms, lengthening spine. Sink all the way back and down, deep breath in and out. And we're gonna bring one leg up and just really lift it up, open the hip up, ground through the opposite leg. And maybe just let the heel drop. We're opening the hip flexors. We're doing a little twist through the spine and hips. And then drop it back down. Deep breath in and out. Let's try the other side, but to lengthen it up. Open the hip a little. Drop that heel to the opposite hip. And lift the length and come back down. Let's walk our toes in, hands in. Coming into Uttanasana. And just hold it here for a few breaths. Really get those hamstrings stretched out. Roll yourself up nice and slow. Roll out your shoulders again, just loosen things up. So we're in mountain, take a second or two in mountain. We come back to center. And we're just gonna finish off a little bit on the floor. So feet hip width apart, shoulders pull back, hands to the heart chakra. And I'm just gonna sink into Malasana. So action back, weight is behind me, stretching out the hips, the knees, and the ankles. Trying to keep the feet on the floor as much as you can, palms together. Hold for a breath or two here. We're gonna do one more twist. So hands come to the ground. We're gonna open the right shoulder, right arms, and just reach up and back, open the shoulders, look up. Keep those feet grounded as much as you can. Back to center, let's try the other side. So one hand grounding, chest back opening, gaze up, reach up. Take breath in and out. Back to center. Slowly come down to your mat, and we're going to just take a minute in bound angle pose. So soles of the feet coming together here, and knees just falling to the ground. Let those knees rest towards the floor. Spine lengthening, a couple deep breaths in and out. Feel those hips opening. And we'll just take a minute to just let the hips open. So we've done a lot of shoulders, chest opening, heart chakra opening. Um, and we've used twists and just, you know, opening the heart chakra, opening the shoulder blades stretching out the, through the front. We're going to finish off with a few little twists. So um, let's just bring one leg in and the other leg up. This is actually our half lotus. So again, this is again hip stretching. So just take a minute to let the knees fall towards the ground. Let that hip open. You're feeling the stretch in the hips here. Breathing deeply. Just try to sink into it. Spine lengthening, lower body sinking. Feel that hip stretching. Finish off with the other side. So just let that top leg drop down. Opposite leg is going to come up on top. And again, just let that knees drop as much as they will. And I like to put a little bit of the weight of the elbows on top of the knees just to encourage them to open wide or drop down. Take a few more deep breaths in and out here. Feel that hip stretch. Good. Okay, let's take both legs out long and just shake them out, massage them out, pound out those muscles, loosen up the back of the knees, hamstrings, calves. We're going to just finish with easy pose. So legs just sitting comfortable, easy pose. And just sitting nice and tall. Let's bring, um, this is my left side, but it might be your right. Just bring it over to the opposite knee and just lengthen your spine. Open the chest, opening the back, opening the shoulders, looking out to the side or back, lengthening it out. Deep breath in and out. Come back to center. Let's try the other side. So my right arm might be your left over to opposite knee. And again, lower body sinking, upper body lengthening. Deep breaths in and out. Simple sitting twist here, breathing and opening. Come back to center. 
Okay, thank you for joining me today um, moving on the mat and I hope that you feel your heart's opened a little and shoulders are more relaxed, chest, shoulders more relaxed and maybe even hips too. Have a great day, thank you for joining me.